it's huge. It's huge. Like this, this is one of the biggest debates out there. It's a huge debate, and you see, when it comes to this political debate, see, there are two sides: substance and perception. Now, in a perfect world, in a perfect world, it should be about substance, what you say. But we don't live in a perfect world. It's all about perception, which is why we had to induct your boy Biden after his brick performance um, against your boy Trump. So in this, for me, the, the key thing is about perception. Yes, you have your talking points. Yes, you have your political views. Yes, you have your um, substantial um, arguments based off of the questions. But beyond that, and this is what they will do to say to Trump and Harris, it's how you look physically, how you say things, the way you talk about stuff, because we are human beings. And as human beings, we react based off of perception. Because I was, I was watching a, a interview with Hillary Clinton, and she said that if you muted her debate with Trump, which I've been watching many of those, you think that Trump is like, but this guy is saying some crazy stuff just based on just how it looks. So perception is very key. So I'm going to look at, talk about tactics, okay? The different tactics and strategies from both sides. Personally, for me, I think Trump has to go on the offensive because the tide seems to be turning towards Harris because what makes this compelling is from the outside, it seems as if Harris has a lot of the, the momentum. I think the chain is even um, an endorser, but she's not been battle-tested. The last time Harris was in a, a, a debate, she got lubricated and tested by um, your girl Tulsi, you know, when she basically revealed about the amount of African-Americans that she has locked up. So, and she, she took a huge L. So for Harris, you've not really been battle-tested. Remember, Biden, vice presidential debates, then the presidential debate. So he's been battle-tested. This Trump, bro, he's been through this with Hillary. He's been through this with Biden. He had to go through a Republican primary. Harris, you've not even been through a primary. This was given to you. So why I'm just going to be very interested to see how she does. Yes, she was in a vice presidential debate with your boy, uh, Mikey P. But that's very different when... Well, no, no, no one cares about Obama's vice presidential debates. It's all about the presidential debates. It's all about the, the, the big dog. So the question... See, Trump has to go on, on the offensive. And I'll tell you the different tactics that he can use. But he has to go fully on the offensive. Harris, it's now going to be tricky. Do you go fully on the offensive, attack Trump? Or do you go on the counterattack and try to counter? It's a tough one. Because if you go fully on the offensive then guys will be like, okay, what are you saying? Okay, US, we, we know Trump is bad, we know Trump is and everything, but what do you bring into the table? Whereas if she sees what Trump does and she sort of can, kind of counteracts that with a bit of offensive, that might be the way to go because what Harris needs to do is, yes, you can have your old anti-Trump stuff, which we all know, but what do you bring into the table? Because a dangerous tactic is, I'm the lesser of two evils. That's a dangerous tactic because that's what Biden... How Biden won? He literally won. They didn't vote for Biden. They just voted not to get Trump in there. Bro, freaking, I could have been on the freaking ballot and they would have put me in, in charge if it wasn't for Trump. So I want to look at Trump. Let's just look at how Trump should go. This is what I think Trump should do. This may, people may say this is wrong and everything, but I, you've got to ask a question. So if it's, and it's, and it's, it's a harsh question. You've got to ask Harris. Who are you? What are you? So you have a talk about. Are you black or are you Indian? Are you representing African Americans or are you representing Indian Americans? Because and I think that's now puts Harris in a very interesting place because I've been watching a lot of videos and I'm confused <laughs> because I watched a um, clips of the Demo Democratic Convention. Maya Harris is her biological sister, her biological younger sister. She came out and talked only about their Indian mother. There was not a single mention about their African-American father. So I was, I was scratching my head and saying, wait, wait, hang on. So you're running on first black VP, first black female, this first black this but your sister makes no mention of your blackness. 
So for Trump, he would probably want to know, wait a minute, you're trying to get the black force, trying to get blacks on your side. But why is it that it seems as if you have an identity crisis of are you Indian or are you black? What, where do you stand? What do you stand for? Because that is very important politically. Yes, it's about representing all, but this is politics now. It's you have to be binary. This is what I'm about. This is how I roll. Barack Obama, he didn't waver. I'm black. I'm not, oh, I'm a black, but a bit white. I'm white on Sundays, but black on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but white on Wednesday evening. No, I'm black. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and twice on Sunday, three times on Monday, again as well. So I think Trump has to be on the fence because Trump has to try to use the Tulsi thing of like, what was your record um, looking on people? Um, what is your what is your experience? What have you done? What have you truly achieved? What are you actually bringing to the table? What are you going to do? And bringing in that whole fear thing of like, <laughs> do you really want to put her in charge where she has no real experience of leadership? So, and for Harris, you see, for Harris, it's going to be interesting because she did pretty well in that VP debate against Mike Pence, but this is the big dogs. See, VP, that small cheese, this is the big cheese right now. So for Harris, it's going to be, because I do feel that she's got a, she's, she has to have a bit more character within her. I think when you've seen her, it's been very smiley, more, you know, like obviously throwing a few jabs, but a little bit much more reserved. Because this is the key thing. And I think Hillary even mentioned this in hindsight. She's got to sort of match Trump's energy. Because I think the mistake that Hillary made, which she admitted, is she was too reactive. She was too like, okay, let me not be too much. Let me not be, be reserved. Let me not overstep on my boundary and everything. But I think if Hillary could do those again, she'd be like, oh, no, I'm going to match this guy's energy. Oh, okay, well, all right, let's, okay, let's do this. So I think for Harris, now you don't want to overstep and just make it unwatchable like some of the debates but you've got to match that energy could it be like oh okay what about this what about that what about these convictions what about the stuff they've done why did she mess up there and really try to pierce him and bring out that character because again guys i'm going to say this a lot of time perception is reality in politics perception is reality it's not only about what you say it's how you say it and how you present it Someone can present trash. If they present trash in a really good, exciting way, people will believe it. If he presents great stuff in a poor way, it's, it won't resonate with, 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 with people. It sounds crazy, but that's just politics. That's just the reality. So I do think that for her, because I'm, what, I'm, what I'm interested about is how will this go? So remember, so the first... Trump or Biden debate, Trump will just cut him Biden off, cutting him off. Because what Trump, his tactic was, I'm going to dominate this. I'm not even allowing him to talk. And every time he talks, I'm just going to cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. And I'm just going to just mess with his, his rhythm. Then in the second debate, he, he, he changed that. See, Trump also has to be careful. You do want some of that female vote, as many as you can. And you don't want to come across as being sort of overbearing on the female candidates. Now, for some women, they want to give it down because like, bro, no, we're not voting for Kakamala. But, but you see, that's why I said for Trump, it is tricky because he's got to walk a fine line. You, he has to be on the, he's, he's got to be Trump. <laughs> like he's got to be, he's got to bring that Trump energy. Him just being like, oh yeah, no, it ain't going to work. He's got to, he's got to somehow from a perception point of view, win this debate. Now, looking at this matchup, I do feel the... See, it's a tricky one. I feel the favorite is Trump because I've seen him on the debate stage and how... And the guy is very good at the debate stage. For Harris, what I've seen of her hasn't been great. But what do they always say? Beware of what you don't know. <laughs> Be very aware of what you don't know. Because remember, there's like a hidden camera thing of like Trump, like when he was in his golf cart saying that, man, like Harris, she's she's terrible, she's awful. Like if, that's if it went to Harris, she, he'd basically dis, to destroy her. So I do feel, that's why Trump really wanted this debate. And because Harris was like, Ugh. Trump was like, no, 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 I have to debate her. 
because Trump knows that if I can just show how weak she is, how clueless she is, and just how she lacks any true leadership skills, that's where I can go. Because, uh, see, now I'm getting it. So, from Harris's point of view, she's got, how she wins this debate, you've got to present Trump as he's crazy, he's incoherent, and he, he, he literally would be a danger because he's too old. If she can just try and show his age and show how he's maybe losing his touch, and this is not, not the guy that you know four, five, six, seven years ago, that's how she can win that. If she can now appear that I'm more coherent, I have more leadership, I can take charge a lot more so than this guy who is more incoherent. That's how she can win. How Trump wins is if she just shows, if he shows the lack of experience of Harris, the lack of charisma, the lack of just that kind of magnetic energetic, energetic qualities that really connects with Americans. So, I mean, look, it's going to be interesting. And guys, also, because we're going to have a post match hanger, we're going to have a post match analysis hanger. So, look. Prediction of <laughs> that that's why this because I wanna say Trump because I just think because bro I saw um Michelle Obama is way more likable than Harris. There's, there's something about I can't put my finger on Harris. There's something about Harris that doesn't sit well with me. Because there's just something about it that just feels disingenuine which is why i wanted to see whether maybe my perception can just change because it's i don't know what it is there's just something about harris where i like i can't i can't quite put my finger on her lover or hates a hillary clinton you know what she is she's a hard worker she never gives up she's gonna do the job like you know what she, i can i can tell you hillary clinton yes she's that kind of a woman i know what she's about Michelle Obama, you know what she's about. She's just genuine, 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 and down to earth. I can't say Harris is down to earth. I can't say she's genuine. You know, I, I just can't. I'm like, she seems a bit fake. Harris has to truly show her personality in this. That's the one. How she wins, obviously, beyond just showing Trump is incoherence, is Harris, who are you? What are you? What do you stand for? Which is where I think Trump should put, I don't know where he can put it in, but Trump should pose that question of like, Harris, please, are you black or are you Indian? Because you keep saying, I'm black, 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 but your sister just says that, um, talked only about your Indian mother. And if you're black, why don't, where is your black father? Why don't you talk about your black father? And you keep stepping between black Indian, black Indian. So, do you really want to have your leader, someone who can't really pick and make a firm decision that is indecisive? <sighs> so, look, as I said again, I, my prediction, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, the reason why I don't know is that I don't know what, I know what Trump is going to do. I pretty know what, what Trump is going to do. Now, I don't know whether Trump has the same fire in his belly as he had like four, five, six years ago. Because against Clinton and thinking the guy was on fire. Bro, bro, that, love him or hate him, Trump was box office in those debates. Those debates are bloody exciting. I told you guys, this right here with Trump and everything, this is more exciting than any movie that has been released in the, five, in the last five, six, six years. This is better than anything Hollywood is, is, is producing, these damn debates. So I don't know. I don't, maybe Harris is going to shock. I think Harris might produce a shock. She might. I think she might produce a, a shock. And I think she might just show, oh, we never knew this about. But whatever the case may be, I can't wait. I'm in, I am super intrigued as we'll have. Remember, guys, right here on this channel, our post match analysis hangout straight, <laughs> straight after this debate. It gets. Awesome.